You always take shots from folks who just don't get the joke. Ah! Welcome to Watch Mojo, and today we're counting down our picks for the most shocking and emotional moments from this award-winning animated series. Fair warning, there will be some baddie spoilers to come. Number 10, The Duplicate Sacrifice. Batman is already a tragic figure as it is. A second Batman is just insult to injury. Are you all right? Alfred, what's happened to me? This Batman is a robot created to destroy all of humanity. But this duplicate Batman, injected with Bruce Wayne's memories and personality, believes he is the real deal and goes into an existential crisis when the evidence says otherwise. Picture a world completely free of crime, free of suffering, free of frailty. Who is he? What was he made for? When he believes he has killed the real Batman, the duplicate commits an act of self-sacrifice so great that it leaves Batman himself wondering if his doppelganger did have a soul after all. Could it be it had a soul, Alfred? A soul of silicon, but a soul nonetheless. It's a devastating scene that makes us question our own reality. Number 9. Dick Grayson and Bruce Wayne's Friendship Dissolves Batman and Dick Grayson as Robin have always had a difficult friendship in most Batman media, but this fight ranks among the worst the pair has suffered. Not like this. Not in front of his family. The sooner he talks, the sooner we leave. After the duo butted heads over Batman's rough interrogation methods, Dick learns that his girlfriend, Barbara was actually Batgirl. He argues with Batman over not telling him about Barbara's secret, even while Barbara argues that Dick hadn't been so forthcoming with her either. I still can't believe it. How could you keep something like this from me? You weren't exactly honest with me either. But you told him. Fed up with Batman's leadership, Dick quits, and when his mentor tries to stop him, punches him in the face. Robin, wait. <laughs> The tension and drama of the moment are palpable, and the explosion of violence between two friends is heartbreaking for us as well as for Dick and Bruce. Number 8. Bruce Wayne vs. Batman What would happen if Bruce Wayne didn't watch his parents die? What would Gotham be like? In this emotionally fraught episode, Bruce finds himself in a world where his parents are still alive and someone else is Batman instead. Everything seems perfect, but true to form, Bruce can't be content and senses something is off. Sure enough, he realizes he is in a dream world, just by the nonsense text of the newspapers. That's because reading is a function of the right side of the brain, while dreams come from the left side. It's impossible to read something in a dream. He confronts this world's Batman, who turns out to be the Mad Hatter in disguise. Facing a dark reality instead of living in happy dreams is a courageous act, but one rife with heartbreaking implications. In the end, Bruce must always choose his fractured self over any chance of healing. No one's will is strong enough to escape my dream machine! Why? Why did you do it? Number 7. Baby Doll's Breakdown Batman's greatest villains almost always have a sympathetic side to them or at least horrendously tragic backstories. That was especially the case with Mary Dahl, an actress with a condition to look like a child no matter her age. Mr. Happy Head says you're really gonna get it now. Unable to live and look like her true age, reeling from her failed acting career, she is driven to madness and a life of crime. Batman confronts her in the Hall of Mirror, forcing her to accept the sad reality of her appearance. That's me in there. The real me. There I am. Baby Doll breaks down, her illusions quite literally shattered. It is a devastating scene, and one that makes us question the thin line between fantasy and reality. Number 6. Trent's Epiphany Sometimes Batman can get very meta about itself. A tribute to original Batman lead, Adam West, 
This episode has Batman meet his childhood hero, the Grey Ghost. I need to work, Frankie. Get me something. You're my agent. I try, Sai. I really do. The Grey Ghost is actually an actor in a cheesy action TV show that inspired Bruce Wayne to become Batman in the first place. Simon Trent is now broke, washed up, and embittered over being typecast. I'm not the Grey Ghost. After helping Batman solve crimes that directly mimic the TV show, Trent realizes the legacy and impact his performance had on a generation. This touching revelation also forces us to consider Batman's own legacy in our hearts and culture. You know, as a kid, I used to watch it with my father. The Grey Ghost was my hero. Really? And he still is. Number 5. Harley's Revelation After Harley Quinn is released from Arkham Asylum, she is determined to go straight. Unfortunately, a misunderstanding causes Harley to panic and kidnap socialite Veronica Vreeland. Please, Harley, let me go. I'm rich. I'll pay whatever you want if you'll just... <laughs> this leads to a chase where Batman confronts her and offers his help. But Harley breaks down. If the world expects her to be an insane criminal, perhaps it's best if she returns to that life. I tried to be good. I really did. But if that's not good enough, fine! Let's get back to basics. Harley may have committed horrible crimes, but one could argue that it was because of her twisted relationship with the Joker. By herself, Harley has a chance, and that it seemed to be taken away from her just for one small mistake is heartbreaking enough. Nice guys like you shouldn't have bad days. Sadly, it wouldn't be long until Harley fell back in with the Joker, getting thrown out of a window. Number 4. Dick Grayson's Parents Die Like most Batman characters, Dick Grayson's backstory is marred by early tragedy. In this episode, Dick Grayson encounters the man who killed his parents, Tony Zuko. You're gonna be calling Tony Zuko and soon. Ah. Out of my way, punk. Dick and his parents were part of a circus act. When the ringmaster refuses to be blackmailed by Zuko, the latter then partially saws off the rope of the Grayson's Trapeze Act, leading to tragic consequences. Yeah. Although Batman adopts Dick and hunts down Zuko, the crook evades capture. Dick is left alone and feeling unloved, blaming himself for his parents' deaths. If only I could have stopped him. I saw him coming out of the tent. I knew he didn't belong there. Dick's parents' death reflecting Batman's is a devastating parallel and a dark comment on how trauma begets even more trauma. Because there's a little boy up there who's just aching for some of that attention. I'm doing this for him. Number three, Annie's Sacrifice. This animated series and the Batman franchise in general doesn't lack for emotionally stirring and shocking deaths. This death, however, is arguably among the most horrific. Yeah, but you don't remember anything. <laughs> Robin meets a young girl in trouble and rescues her. The problem is, though, that she can't recall anything, even her name. Calling her Annie, Robin fights against a mysterious figure who claims he is her father. What do you want? I'm her father, punk. <laughs> Stay out of it! It turns out that this is Clayface who made Annie from the mud of his own body. In the fight against Clayface, Annie pushes Clayface off balance, allowing him to swallow her into his body. The end of this sympathetic character, who had so much promise, and Robin's reaction is nothing short of horrific. We'll book them on the robberies in B&E, right? Anything else? Yeah. Murder. Number 2. The Snow Globe Of all of the villain backstories in the Batman franchise, this may be the most tragic. Mr. Freeze began as Victor Freeze, an employee of Gotcorp who froze his terminally ill wife, Nora, via cryogenesis until a cure for her could be found. Once a remedy has been found... Open this door! Open it now! However, 
Funding for his research was cut by a callous CEO, Ferris Boyle, leading to Nora's apparent death. They fight, and Freeze falls into a table of chemicals, turning him into Mr. Freeze. It would move me to tears if I still had tears to shed. After Batman thwarts Mr. Freeze's attempts to avenge his wife, he is turned over to Arkham Asylum. Taking out a snow globe of his lost wife, he begs her forgiveness for failing to avenge her. I can only beg your forgiveness and pray you hear me somehow, someplace. This case of corporate evil and spousal devotion makes for one of the most brutally heartbreaking in the series. Before we unveil our top pick, here are a few honorable mentions. Harvey Dent returns to Arkham Asylum because Two-Face's struggle for recovery is heartbreaking. You're your own worst enemy, Harvey. No, I'm your worst enemy. Dr. Leslie Tompkins consoles Batman because Batman's trauma still haunts him and also us. This used to be a beautiful street. Good people lived here once. Good people still live in Crime Alley. Batman breaks down because seeing this stoic hero lose it is beyond devastating. Before we continue, be sure to subscribe to our channel and ring the bell to get notified about our latest videos. You have the option to be notified for occasional videos or all of them. If you're on your phone, make sure you go into your settings and switch on notifications. Number 1. The Death of Batgirl Granted, this turned out to be Barbara's nightmare, as she had been injected with Scarecrow's fear toxin. But as most of the episode portrayed her death as if it were real, it doesn't lessen the emotional devastation of the scene. While we polished off his goons as the maniac ran, Barbara went after him. In this nightmarish scenario, Batman, Robin, and Batgirl are chasing Scarecrow. But when Batgirl catches up, Scarecrow attacks her and throws her off the ledge into a car. With her last dying breath, she manages to call out to her father, Commissioner Gordon. Dad. Barbara? Uh. She expires in his arms, leading Gordon to blame Batman for her death. Here, the consequences of Barbara keeping her alter ego a secret from her father are shown by the worst possible scenario. A scenario, albeit mercifully fake, that has left scars in our psyche. Please, Jim, for Barbara. Which other moment from the animated series had you in a glass case of emotions? Let us know in the comments down below. You're a mom and dad? Does the hurt ever go away? I wish I could say yes. Did you enjoy this video? Check out these other clips from WatchMojo and be sure to subscribe and ring the bell to be notified about our latest videos.